Um, as presented before, I'm uh, Peter Svensson from Trondheim, and I'm going to talk about um, a special type of room, usually a small room, which is rooms used for video conferencing. A video conference situation, which could be illustrated uh, like this. Um, such a situation is in a way such that the room, both rooms, need to fulfill three tasks at once. Very often we have more people in each room, and that means that it needs to be a decent meeting room. In the this, in this situation here with a single person, it's not like that. But the room also needs to be a recording room, because we are picking up the sound by microphones, and it's a sound reproduction room, we are, it's a listening room. The two-room acoustics versus coupled rooms. Coupled rooms means that we have some opening between a source and the receiver room, and there will be sound uh, transmission both ways. In a video conference situation, we have a microphone here and a loudspeaker there. The sound is fed one way. It is certainly so that the communication is two ways, but the feedback of this sound back to the source room is usually suppressed very efficiently by echo cancellation systems. If it hadn't been, it would be very, we would be, we get very annoyed by acoustic feedback in video conferencing. So we can view the situation as a one-way transmission. Um, a little theory um, uh, about what I hinted at before, that we get a direct, when we convolve those impulse responses, we get a direct sound, we get one uh, exponential decay with the reverberation time in room one, another one with the reverberation time in room two, and then the non-exponential part, which can be written as the difference between those two. I try to point out that the two-room situation requires slightly modified room acoustical models. Video conference rooms uh, probably, after all, do need to be more absorbing than ordinary meeting rooms, but not too absorbing, because that would not give a pleasant meeting room. Directional microphones will certainly help, but then we have this slightly tricky situation that the room must be specified by itself, but in addition, the video conferencing uh, equipment has to be um, um, specified separately, separately from the room. Um, we can open up for lots of discussions, saying that these simple models are too simple. Early reflections will be important. Coloration effects can happen when you have a microphone picking up the sound, etc., etc. But we do. Um, I think that w that this situation of video conferencing room is is a, a, a case which will probably be more and more used. So we need to. So I would urge m more of you to try to think more about the video conferencing room and and discuss how we should specify the criteria for that. So that's all for me. Thank you very much. <laughs>